students. She has proven to be a leader on campus. She makes time for others while also pursuing scholastic excellence. As a member of the National Technical Honor Society, she was the secretary for the chapter from March 2011 to March 2012. She was the vice president of the Criminal Justice Club Lambda Alpha Epsilon and participated in activities that included the Federal Bureau of Prisons mock interviews, and she was also a guest speaker for the 2011 Safety Summit covering the topic of bullying, as well as a writer for our student newsletter login. She is a graduate with many responsibilities in her personal life. She has been married for 15 years and is raising two children. Off campus, she spends time volunteering at her daughter's preschool, her church's nursery department, and at Loaves and Fishes in Pittsburgh serving lunch. As the first member of her family to graduate from college, this graduate is not only earning an associate's degree this evening, but is graduating after consecutively achieving highest honors with a 4.0 GPA. Please join me in welcoming to the stage this outstanding example of an ITT Tech graduate, Ms. Jennifer Bryan.
but our very present. To all the staff here at ICT, your commitment to our success merits more thanks than I can give, and I hope you know how truly thankful we all are. It's hard for me to believe that my journey started two years ago. For many of us, it seems like time has fallen by. I remember my very first day as a student at ICT. It had been 15 years since I had stepped foot in a classroom. I felt very nervous and was unaware of what I was getting myself into, especially when I discovered that my problem-solving class was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I was faced with my first real challenge when Mr. Pugh placed a hypothetical cat over a snake pit, and we had to figure out how to rescue him. The cat was rescued after a series of formulas and calculations. I prayed I would never have to take another math class again. Much to my dismay, a year later, I was sitting in Mr. Arione's math class. I faced my biggest challenge, though, in this class. However, with Mr. Arione's help and the help of the tutor and the tutors in the LRC, I made it through with an A, as did many of my classmates. I was thrilled, though, to learn I would not have to take math too. I have met some amazing people at, during my time at ITT. We have a single mother of three who maintained a 4.0 and worked a job that kept her out late, making it difficult sometimes for her to study or do homework. We also have a young woman who comes from East Oakland and has faced many tragedies during her two years at ITT, but she was determined to become more than a statistic. And that brings me to a former Marine who served his country in Iraq and Afghanistan before coming back to school, all the while being supported by his wife and his uh, daughter, they were cheering him on from home. Some, of the, some graduates tonight work all night shifts, but managed to make it to class, and I don't know how they did it. There were many that started with us, but circumstances kept them from being here with us tonight. I know there were a few of us who promised each other that we would finish and graduate together. Our hard work and commitment and sacrifice has paid off because we are all here. I've often, often been asked why I wanted to pursue my degree. My response, you never get, you're never too old to make your dreams come true. I am the first person in my family to graduate college, and I know if my mom and dad were here tonight, they would be very proud. I would also like to thank the many friends that I have made, most of all Jamie and Gloria. We stuck through this, we helped each other, we laughed together, and we cried together. I couldn't have asked for better friends. I want to thank my children who are not here tonight in person, but they are always in my heart. They have put up with me being gone sometimes all day to go to class and complete assignments over the last two years. Most of all, I want to thank my husband, Joel for allowing me to reach this goal. Your encouragement and support has meant so much, and I cannot express how grateful I am and how much I love you. <laughs> Last, I want to give all of the glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for giving me the strength, strength and the patience to see this dream through at the end. As we close this chapter in our lives and start a new one, remember something Washington Irving said. Great minds have a purpose. Others have wishes. Little minds are tamed and subdued by misfortune, but great minds rise above them. Once again, thank you to the staff at ITT for everything they've done for us over the last two years, to our friends and family for all of your love and support, and to my classmates, thank you for the memories and the laughs. On my last day, it was suggested by one of my instructors that I make a victory lap around the campus parking lot. I think I might just do that. Good luck to everyone.
present to you this certificate from Alpha Beta Kappa, a National Honors Association, recognizing your involvement in the National Technical Honor Society, as well as your status as a highest honors graduate. Congratulations. We are